Brendan Schaub, as usual, just always has to lie about everything and his wife and his relationship. I mean, first of all, <laughs> his wife's Instagram, whoa, what's with that tattoo down there? But I would have played his video for you soon, but uh, yeah, the Brendan Schaub always with the narrative changing lies and uh, really is quite pathetic. Brendan Schaub caught in more lies, trying to paint a different narrative B. So I'm going to play this to give you my thoughts on it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to detail how every single word this man is about to say about him and his wife is a complete and total lie and how pathetic and sad this really is about how much somebody has to lie. So let's go ahead and check it out. How long are you and the wife together? Shit, man. Oh, over 10 years. Oh, wow. I mean, we're dating them, you know, married, but dating around, yeah, right 10 years now, I think. How's uh, how's this whole thing been for her? Like, the transition? I mean, because obviously she's been with you since before any of this. Yeah, she was in that 800 square foot apartment I was yeah. leasing when I was fighting the UFC with no money, sleeping on the ground, uh, <laughs> watching two. The only thing I had was an iPad. So like, you want to watch movies? Like, Shh, you don't have a TV. I'm like, I have an iPad. Have an iPad, iPad yeah. holder? Yeah. Like, you no, know, it was me the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> like, there, and I put, put a bell and propped it up. She's like, this is so ghetto. I'm like, shut up. Um, Jamie McDonald's. Yeah. But she, uh, she's been w with me since that to where we're at now. So, uh, yeah, she's a loyal woman. She's great. I, th I think it's a lot for her. She didn't sign up for this. Sure. You know, I don't think she thought it was going to become what it has, you know, and being on the road and stuff like that. So she's two kids. So it's a lot. Credit to, credit to her. I'm, and I'm difficult to deal with, man. 100%. Yeah. 100%. You got to be a little bit crazy to pull all this shit off. So she has her hands full. You got any, God uh, bless her. <laughs> you got any uh, relationship advice for people? Ooh. I mean, relationship from my perspective, like, you know, don't forget it's not all about work. You know, mm -hmm. you still got to put the time in at home and make the, make them a priority. You don't want to forget about, you know, what got you to the dance. You yeah, know, yeah. You've had this great supporting group, so you don't want to leave them behind because they're the ones you need to worry about. So it's like, you know, I had a buddy who was like, oh, let's go to Miami and we'll do this content with Josh 6 9 I was like, first of all, I'm 39 years old. <laughs> I, I got kids. I'm not flying to Miami to do a TikTok with Takashi 6 9 You know, it's like, I got to be home, man. If it's not really important and, you know, paying my mortgage, yeah. I'm probably not coming, man. Yeah. You know? How long are you in the web? Okay, so every bit of that was a lie. First and foremost, you want to fly to Miami to do a TikTok with 6 9 He'll fly to Miami to do one show that's not even half sold. This man, I'm pretty much sure at this point, pays money to do stand-up comedy. He sells no tickets whatsoever. But the overall lies, um, first and foremost, his wife was with him when he had nothing. Complete and total lie. I remember... When Brendan Schaub was on the UFC and he was giving a tour of his house in the big closet he had, he's always had money because he's a rich kid. His dad was the CEO, part owner of a security company that they sold for hundreds of millions of dollars in the 80s. He's a rich kid, always been a rich kid. And so, and by the way, his wife wouldn't be with him if he had no money because she's been used to being with celebrities. She used to hook up with uh, Little Romeo and that baseball player. She, you think she went from Little Romeo and the baseball player to a broke UFC fighter? No! She knows Brendan Schaub's a rich kid comes from money. But, I mean, the complete and total lies, man. Oh, I got to put in a time with my family. Although I'm flying to Pennsylvania to do a show for 20 people who bought tickets. <laughs> my God. And he's almost completely out of money. Now, I think now he's just on daddy's money at this point. I mean, the podcast, complete and total bust. Like I, I, I always said. If Brendan Shaw was just a dude who did YouTube, he'd probably be making decent money. However, 
He has a whole studio. He pays employees. He pays salaries. No money is being generated from that. That All of that is in the red. Um, the stand-up isn't completely in the red. The career is over. And you know it's over because he's suing people. <laughs> so, I mean, he's suing people with daddy's money, by the way. In a lawsuit, he knows he's, he's going to win because he can't ever take responsibility for how much he sucks. So it's always someone else's fault. Like he'll say, oh, man, I wish I wasn't shadow banned, B. It's like, dude, you're not shadow banned. You cannot in one week sue a YouTuber, breaking the golden rule of YouTube, suing a YouTuber over false copyright things, and then drop the worst comedy special ever, and then go, well, I wonder why no one watches my stuff or buys tickets to my shows anymore. I must be shadow banned. It's like, dude, no, you're not funny and you're not cool. You can't take a joke. And I know for damn sure that he's not going to skank fest. Uh, like I said, I'll believe it when I see it. Not going to happen. And if he goes, he'll never like be on a panel or do stand up or anything. No way in hell Shab does any of that in any way, shape, or form. But I mean, everything out of this guy's mouth is a lie. Everything. He claimed he made. He used to brag about making a hundred thousand dollars a fight in the UFC. Now in this new lie, oh, he made no money in the UFC. Well, which is it? Uh, claims he played professional football, never made a team. He's just a rich kid who's not funny. Who got in to be friends with Rogan? Exploited the hell out of that relationship. Probably messed that up, too, when the whole Bobby Lee thing happened. But the most hilarious thing to me is he's not going to that comedy mothership. He will not be invited there. Not going to happen. Not bloody likely. <laughs> and his stupid wife. Uh, yeah, she didn't know what she was in for, that her husband would just be openly cheating on her. How embarrassing for her. She's on her Instagram. She has to sell clothes. They, her, well, all their fake businesses. Well, what was their new one? We're in real estate now. Me and my dad are you stupid. <laughs> Making no money. It's pathetic. Your husband's addicted to addies and baddies. <laughs> Just hilarious to me. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments.